Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Twyla Monster High doll and making her into a voodoo doll. This is the third of a set of three that I made for a recent convention. And this is just a face-up video, so stay tuned till the end to see some final look photos. So each time I do a convention I like to make a small set of some value dolls or uh, convention special dolls that I sell them at a lower price point and so this is one of those and I have to apologize I did uh, skip ahead here because my camera went out and it does happen once again later on in the video but hopefully the rest of the video is valuable to you so my apologies but I decided that I'd leave one eye open and one eye closed I have never done a closed eye doll and this was kind of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I always felt like if I did eyes closed, it would kind of, um, I don't know, I'd miss out on my favorite part of working on customizing. I think my very favorite part is making the eyes, so um, having them closed, it would be kind of uh, missing out on my most fun work. So I haven't done that yet. So this was really fun to do because I was able to have the best of both worlds and try out a closed eye. This is one of the newer models of or molds of Twyla. So this was the most recent release. So the face mold is she's actually one that the face mold didn't change too much with the most recent last release. Uh, but it is slightly different than the others that I've done. It's been a while since I've worked on Twyla though, so I was having a ball. At this point I've done a little bit of highlight on the forehead, nose, and chin with some white pan pastel. And now I'm just blending in the mouth. And using some aquarelle or museum aquarelle by Karen Dosh to outline the lips these are my favorite pencils and I've been using them more often this year I just thought they'd been sitting in the box and I like to preserve them for some of my best dolls but I've decided I'm gonna just use them when I feel like using them I just like to use what I have They're just very soft and blend beautifully. And the color is always the same after I spray it. I'm not, um, I'm not sponsored by Karen Dosh, but you'll hear me speak of that, the, these watercolor pencils a lot because they're just my favorite. So at this point I've probably uh, given her a couple more coats of Mr. Super Clear and that's always good to do before I do the highlights because they just, after that those extra couple of coats of sealant, the vinyl takes the white pencil a lot better. So here is a little bit of a custom mix pan pastel of pink that I'm adding to the cheeks and upper eyebrow area. So I have a couple more videos left from the convention collection that I made and I'm getting ready to start another uh, set for another convention in June. And in the meantime I've been working on a lot of commissions so you'll see those coming up soon as well. My shop pretty much got cleared out recently so I'm working to stock that back up also. If you're interested in seeing what I still have left in stock, check out the link to my Etsy shop below. And then also, if you're interested in a commission, um, March is closed, but now I'm opening up four spots for April. So please feel free to direct message me on social media or shoot me an email, all of which is in the description box below, if you're interested, and I'll be happy to give you a price quote. 
So for the iris, I've, I'm making the eyes blue, but I'm starting out with the yellow highlight here. And I believe this is right around where the camera goes out again. So again, I'm sorry for that. But I'm doing my usual uh, detail in the eye with several different colors of blue and then adding some line work and a dark ring around the eye. So now I'm just darkening up the line work. And just having fun with the face up here. I just really enjoy, like I've said before, I just love doing these dolls that are just, allow me to be artistic and create my own uh, creation. Just kind of gives me a little bit of a break from commissions and like the celebrity dolls and things that I usually have to do. I enjoy those too, but this just gives me a nice artistic creative release. So I wanted her to be looking off to the side. I was a little nervous about that since one of the eyes was closed. I didn't know how that would look, but I was happy with how it turned out. I'm doing a little bit of shading under the upper eyelid and around the eye, just making sure that I'm making that eyeball actually ball shaped looking and not flat. So here I'm using my Derwin pencil extender, which I love to use to get the most out of my pencils. It, it's uh, great to use when your pencil is super short. You can still use it to the very end. And that link is in the description box below along with some other, the other supplies that I use, like I mentioned earlier. And those are affiliate links. So if you do click on those to make purchases through Amazon, we do benefit from that a little bit. So if you do that, I appreciate it. Thank you. So here I'm doing the uh, little stitch. I wanted to do like a cross stitch over the eye. So just to give it a little creepy voodoo doll look. And I'm just doing some marks uh, with some uh, purple, just kind of darkening up the area to make it look like a stitch is going through it. And then I used some black paint to do that and highlight it with white. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.